I'm Craig Kenneth, a relationship coach and a psychotherapist. Every relationship is different and every breakup is different. Work with me and you'll get professional help on your situation. Just click on the link in the description below or go to my website, AskCraig.net. Hi there, I'm Coach Craig Kenneth and in this video I'm going to be talking to you about when it's time to move on. So, the reason that I wanted to do this video today is because, let's face it, not all relationships last. As a matter of fact, most of them will end. And for many of you that have had an attachment trauma, it can be incredibly difficult to, to let go and to know when to move on. Now, for many of us, we had relationships with our parents where we constantly put our needs to the side and we put their needs over our own needs and we suppressed them. And we did this in order to keep them from getting stressed out or ultimately abandon us. So, you know, we, we're, we're trying to avoid stressing out our parents because if they get stressed out enough and they say, I'm done, well, can't take care of yourself. Obviously, um, there are things in place in society now where it could help take care of you, but it's the underlying biological instinct that we have, okay? Because that's how we're wired. So, if that was our experience of love, where we constantly had to suppress our needs in order to please our parents, we continue to do this so often it just becomes part of who we are. And it was, you know... It winds up becoming this long-term problem for us and ultimately comes out in our romantic relationships. So, it can be incredibly difficult to know when to move on, to say, I've had enough. And oftentimes, you guys come to me looking for that answer and, you know... I don't like to tell people how to live their lives. I believe that you guys ultimately have the best knowledge to make that decision for yourself. Now, of course, that being said, I will always be honest with you whether I think you're going to like the answer or not. Because my job is to help you and to help promote personal growth and to support you with whatever decisions you make. So. Sometimes I have to say difficult things that I know you don't want to hear. But I do keep your best interest in mind. And, you know, I, I really feel like it's my job to give you honesty in a compassionate way. So, um, that's, that's where I come from when I'm working with you guys. You guys may say, well, should I stay? Should I go? And I'll, you know, I often say, look, that's a personal decision. If you want me to give you my opinion on what I would do personally, I will be happy to tell you that. But I ultimately want you to make your own decisions, like I said. But of course, I'll be honest with you and share my thoughts on if a situation is healthy or unhealthy and what to do. So, I got a really tough one today. Uh, an email from a guy who's in his early 30s who's dating a woman in her mid-20s. Now, they were together for seven years. Long time. And things started to change during their relationship. She's, what she did is she joined a new social circle a little after they were married, and it was comprised of some people that he liked and some people that treated him like garbage. And he didn't want to be put in the position of being around the people that he felt like he had to be fake to. And I don't blame him. So he said she would be going over to a house of a married couple with her old boss and others. 
and not coming home sometimes until four in the morning. I would not be appreciative of that. That is not okay for me, personally. Four in the morning, especially if it's on the regular. I just, I don't think it's good. I don't think it's good for a marriage. I don't think it's good for any relationship. She would sometimes go over to her old boss's house and chill with him, and I told her that doing that was making me very upset and that this isn't typical behavior of a married woman. So she shot, stopped for a time. Instantly, that's a red flag for me, right? Big red flag. You're hanging out with your old boss till 4 o'clock in the morning? I don't think so. <laughs> uh, she started hanging out with a new girlfriend who was my old boss's wife, whom they had recently divorced. Or had divorced recently. <clears throat> One day, while wa waking up, I went through her phone just because of always having this strong gut feeling and saw she had sent a full nude picture to her old boss. See what I'm talking about, guys? Look at that. Hanging out with this dude till 4 o'clock in the morning, and now he's finding nude pictures. After this, I locked myself up and separated. we separated for the first time. Rumors of her sleeping with multiple people who were in this social circle finally came back to me when we were separated. Yeah. When I was reading this, I am thinking... These people sound like swingers. That's what sounds like it's going on to me. You want to swing? Go right ahead. But, this dude is married, and he thinks he's in a committed relationship. I think there's some kind of bizarre swinging circumstances going on there. And now, there's rumors of her sleeping with multiple people. After the time apart, it just became the same thing where if I didn't like the people that she was hanging out with, I simply wouldn't go. She turned into this never I wanted to do anything because she had told me that she doesn't always want to go to the bar, but when she hangs out with these people, that's all they ever do. We were going to marriage counseling and all my problems were having to do with the certain individual she was hanging out with and the picture I couldn't get out of my head, meaning the nude picture. By the way, I, I had to cut down some of this email um, because it was extremely long, but he did say that when he found the pictures, she tried to say that, he took, that she took those pictures for him and that he, she had accidentally sent them to the boss instead of him. That plot has more holes. <laughs> right? I mean, seriously. That's ridiculous. Who would buy that? You, you allegedly were going to send your husband nude pictures, but you sent it to the wrong person. Oh, and then the husband said to me in the email, she had never sent him any nude pictures, ever. So, she is obviously completely full of it. She said that she had taken the picture because she wanted to spice up in their marriage. But, he isn't buying it and neither am I. She was going to hide the fact that this had happened like a lot of other things as it was always hard for her to talk and communicate with me with what she wanted or actually needed. But just continued unnormally and all I could ever think about was that picture. And instead of helping put out the fire, 
she would douse it with gasoline. Kind of hard to continue on a relationship where you feel inadequate and your wife possibly cheated on you, but continues to do the same things that hurt me from that point. Well, there's no doubt in my mind that this woman has cheated on you multiple times. I mean, obviously, I don't know that 100%, but come on. So he had some questions for me. He said, am I stupid to think that things will eventually work themselves out? Or is this that I'm just holding on to my life has been for the last seven years? Listen, I am so sorry that happened to you. That's incredibly painful and it's horrible. And what she did and is doing is just unacceptable and completely selfish and disrespectful. And she should have the decency to just end the marriage, end the relationship, and be honest with you. Or try and work it out, which she's showing no signs of that. Um, but are they going to work themselves out? No, not, not the way they're going. This, that doesn't just really happen. It has to take two people that have a desire to make the relationship work. And she is not showing any desire in any shape or form. I mean, she's just straight up lying to you repeatedly over and over again. Rumors of her sleeping with multiple people, staying out till 4 o'clock in the morning. Come on, man. It, it's, it's right there in front of you. I know you don't want to see it, but look at her actions. He said, I honestly want to have hope but I don't believe she will ever be coming back to me because the grass is greener, so to say, in her view. Well, I mean, of course there's a possibility that she could change her mind and want to work things out, but do you really want to work things out with somebody that's doing this? I mean... You have no idea to what extent she's been unfaithful. You really don't know. Because she hasn't owned up to anything. Including when you found the naked picture. By telling you she was going to send that to you. When she had never sent you one before or since. He said, I feel like at this point in my life. And not feeling like I should be where I need to. And it scares me that I'm never going to find somebody special again after losing her and thinking that I am back at square one. Well, I think you really need to reframe this. Um, you didn't lose her. You know, this woman obviously was just going to be unfaithful and she isn't able to communicate like an adult and tell you what she needed or wanted. I mean, and she's just very deceptive, dishonest. I mean, there's I mean, so many things going on here. You need to see this as not something bad, but as something amazing. You are still very young. You are still able to have a family, to have kids, to kind of have the life that you're looking for. You don't want it to be with this woman. I mean, what's going to happen if you did work things out and then you had kids with her? And then five years later, she misses the old lifestyle and leaves you for three other dudes. <laughs> uh, you don't want it. You don't want this situation, man. She's not saying, I have a real issue. Let me go to a therapist. Let's go to couples counseling. No, <laughs> she's not doing any of that. He said, should I even want to get back with her, even if she does come back? Well, I could tell you there's no way in hell I would if it was me. Uh, you got to do what's good for you, but no way would I ever even think about that for a second. He said, honestly, I know that had I had my role to play in her leaving, and I admit those things when I talk about it, but... She hurt me so badly, why would I even want to do that again? But in my head, she is really who I want to be with. Well, 
I think you're ignoring reality. I think you're ignoring the real her, and that is why you believe you want to be with her. You don't, seriously, you don't want to really be with her. It's the idea of who she used to be, maybe. You miss that, but this girl, you don't want to be with her. I know you're in a tough situation. You were with this woman for seven years, and it's incredibly difficult to just end a marriage, especially, you know, with somebody you've been with for that long. But you need to look at reality, man. There's multiple allegations of her being with multiple people. She's staying out till 4 o'clock in the morning. She's sending nude pictures out. She's lying. She's deceptive. I mean, she's not acting like an adult at all. You have to know when to move on. You want to just keep hanging on to this situation and think that it's going to get better? I wouldn't. You only have one life, and you need to make the most of it. There are a lot of amazing women out there that would love to have a guy that is committed and trying to better themselves and wants to be a good partner. And... You certainly deserve a lot better than this. Guys, I know it's tough to sometimes really look at things. That's why I'm here. Tell me what's going on in your situation and I'll help you out. This is my passion. I really want to be able to help you guys learn to have healthy relationships and, you know, teach you strategies to communicate and have amazing, you know, just that, like a relationship right out of a movie or a TV show. And I'm going to do my best to help you whatever your situation is. Whether it be getting your ex back, reattracting them, whatever it is, that's why I'm here. So when you want my help personally, just go to my website, AskCraig.net, and sign up for the coaching option that works best for you. If you liked my video and you appreciate it, just put a like on there. I do appreciate that. And be sure to subscribe to the channel because I do post videos Monday through Friday. But that's it for this video. I'm Coach Craig Kenneth, and I will talk with you soon.